Hi guys, welcome to Nazca, Peru. I got in yesterday night, last I talked to you guys I was in Lima. Uh, the rest of the stay went well there, I wasn't there too much longer. So um, the next day I checked out another waka, which is again the temple, I didn't go inside, just kind of walked there and checked it out um, and then ended up going to kind of back towards towards where the boardwalk is, the Malikon, and checked out another little portion of that. But um, anyways, the rest of my stay in Lima was pretty chill. Um, and just a couple of things, few things that I learned. Again, so Peru's national dog, it's that hairless dog. I don't know the name of it, but they're really ugly looking. <laughs> I learned that's the national dog. They look like hyenas. Anyway, so you see those like pretty often there. Outside of here, I don't think I've seen too many of those. Um, aside from that, I really liked Lima. Uh, you can also do surfing there, although I didn't while I was there, but it was a really pretty city. Um, it seemed pretty healthy too. Like I saw a lot of people running and there's tennis courts pass by, a golf club and people surfing. So it's a nice city, definitely liked it. Uh, another th phrase I learned is vamos a sacar el jugo. So it's like, we're gonna like take advantage and like make the most of it is a phrase they use here, I learned. Anyways, a few side notes. Oh, and I also learned or noticed that another interesting thing here, which again, we don't have in the US and I've partially seen in other countries, but the traffic lights, they have a countdown, but not only for when it's turning green, also when it's red, like all the time there's a countdown. So you know exactly how many seconds before it turns green and exactly how many seconds before it turns back to red. So there's always a countdown. I thought that was interesting and neat. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much the end of the stay in Lima. I took a bus, ended up getting a bus at, well, it left around five in the end, about, uh, about a seven hour trip to Nazca. The buses here, at least from Trujillo on, um, they're a lot nicer than in the northern part of South America. So a lot of them, they're nice coach buses, more in the style of like an airplane. They give you like a pillow and a blanket and there's um, a stewardess or whatever you would call it. Um, so more of that style anyways, which is nice. And I think from here on out, or at least I know Argentina and Chile, but the buses are nice. So that makes the, the travel and the trip a little bit easier um, and they recline more and everything like that. So anyways got in last night and then today in the morning um so you know nazca is famous for the lines and the desert of all the figures and everything so i ended up doing a plane ride in the morning um to see that so it's pretty expensive but figured since i'm here you know might as well sacar el jugo as they say um so it was a half an hour plane ride got to see a lot of the figures I think about 10, but then I was talking to a lady like in that area in the airport and I think there's over a hundred figures or something. So saw a very small portion of that, um, which was cool. But at the same time, I don't know, from what I've seen on TV before or whatever, I was thinking they would look like expansive and gigantic, even from the airplane. And when you're up high, they don't look so big. So anyways. It was cool getting to see that, even though it was a really short trip and expensive, but anyways, once in a lifetime, it's worth doing. I wouldn't do it again. Um, and it's cool to see that, like, you can still see, see the lines so clearly, even in the desert and after so many years. So check that out. Um, I've been walking around the town a little bit. There's not too much here. There's another Plaza de Armas, as usual, the main plaza walked towards a museum, um, but didn't end up going in there. Just walking around a bit. Now I'm at the Paredones, which is another old archeological site, I guess you would call it, um, from the Pre-Incas, Pre-Incas. And everyone just calls them the Nazcas. It's like they don't have an actual formal name. Um, so people call the people that lived here back then Nazcas before the Incas. And the place I'm at now, um, it's where basically they used to have their homes. And anyways, yeah, their homes, I forget what else. Uh, I ended up meeting this old guy in the park who sat on a bench next to me and he convinced me to let him come along and be my guide. So anyways, he's waiting on me. I gotta go get him because 
I don't know how much longer he's gonna last. So anyways, I'm checking out this for now. Uh, we'll see what else I squeeze in. And I'm supposed to go to the cemetery in a few hours where you can see the bones and everything of like these people that were sacrificed back in the day and all that kind of stuff. So let me show you real quick the sights and then I will take off. Tomorrow the plan is to go to Arequipa. So anyways, that's the plan. As you guys know, changes all the time or I never quite know for sure, but sensitive plan. All right, so I will talk to you guys soon and fill you in on the rest of Nazca once I get to Arequipa. Bye.